Hello. Louder. Hello. Hello. Um, so we put out a statement earlier today on our Facebook page and I posted it to Twitter and Instagram. Um, just about the direction that Main Street 9 and 3 quarters is going to take for the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. Um, we are officially out of Orlando footage. Um, sad. <laughs> when we started this channel, we had plans to continue to go down to Florida, like, every other month if we could. Um, but then we decided to go on this huge second honeymoon type trip. This was the honey, honeymoon. Honey tune. This was the honeymoon that we wanted to take after our wedding, but couldn't afford it because we were paying for the wedding and paying for a trip. Um, so we decided for our second anniversary, we are going to do the honeymoon that we wanted to do initially. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's very costly, which is fine because this is like a dream come true. This is like a dream trip. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're going to Scotland and England. Uh, we're basically going to try and hit as many Harry Potter filming locations as we can. I tried to look up to see if we could do some brave, like inspiration in Scotland, but they, all of the spots that... Pixar went to are out of the way super out of the way and it would just take hours and hours to get to where those places are and like while it would be really cool to see it there are other things that are more important to us mm -hmm. so we I kind of have a vision of maybe walking through our planning process for this trip um, yeah. For any Harry Potter fans out there that want to go on a trip like this, I know that it takes a lot of time and a lot of research and obviously a lot of money. Props to her because I'm not good at this <laughs> and she's put together like this whole itinerary and it's been amazing so far. We have Scotland planned at this point, mm -hmm. um, but I'm still working on England and I want to share it with everybody because I know um, I know a handful of our listeners on Swish and Flick are interested in seeing the itinerary and you guys will definitely get to see it when it's all finished. Um, but so I want back it up. I want to show our planning process for this trip, but also within that, I want this to kind of morph into a informational channel where we talk about our top things to do at Disney, our top things to do at Universal, how we plan our trips when we go down. It's a science. <sighs> Booking fast passes, talking about dining reservations, um, our tips and tricks for Universal in terms of hotels and express pass and all of that good stuff. Because um, I know it's really confusing for a lot of people who don't go, obviously, as often as we do. Yeah. When you're planning your first trip, it's Very ridiculously overwhelming. overwhelming. Yeah. So we want to help everybody with that process. But then also, sprinkled in there as well, we want to kind of complete an Ohio bucket list that we've put together. Because I feel like... Whenever you live in a state, you don't necessarily go and explore everything that that state has to offer. Um, and there's a ton of things in Ohio that, like, both of us have always wanted to do. We've talked about it for years, a bunch of these things. They've yeah, been on this list, and now we're, like, officially calling it, like, a bucket, a bucket list. list. Um, and a lot of the things are free or within driving distance. Or and, really cheap. Yeah, and... You know, while we're planning this huge trip, we can't necessarily afford to go down to Florida to bring you guys footage from Disney and Universal, but, yeah, but we can take you around our great state and show you all of the fun things that Ohio has to offer. There's a lot of things that we have going on that we want to keep track of um, for us as well as share with you so we hope that it doesn't get boring because it's not all exciting theme parks but maybe it'll be a little cedar point sprinkled in there um i don't know don't give it all away 
yeah who knows surprise ohio has a ton of stuff more stuff than i even realized because as soon as we like made this decision i went on google and just looked up ohio bucket lists and i was shocked so ohio gets ragged on but it's actually pretty cool yeah so basically this channel is going to be the adventures of megan and katie <laughs> through ohio for a while until we head across the pond to the uk mm -hmm. six short months mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah and then after that who knows what will happen yeah so we hope that you stick it out with us we'll we make hope, it interesting we hope you enjoy it um We'll get back to Florida eventually. I mean, it's part of who we are. Who we are, yeah. We can't stay away that long. It's it's killing us that we can't be there. <laughs> but, you know, we but have we a lot have, of other exciting things. We have other things in our mind for our future that it's going to be good. Yeah. So, yeah. But we still want to share it with all of you, even if it's not Disney and Universal related. So, our name may be Main Street 9 and 3 quarters. But that's probably because Disney and Universal just run through our veins. So it doesn't matter where we go, it's always a part of us. And I guarantee you it'll always be a part of our conversations. Oh yeah, I guarantee we'll be dropping movie lines and whatever else. So Yeah, and it, you know, like I said, this whole trip to England is Harry Potter related. There's a lot of exciting things coming up with Harry Potter that we definitely plan on vlogging, if not on this channel, on Swish and Flick's um, YouTube channel. It's exciting Disney stuff too. Yeah. Lots of new things opening, lots of new things coming at the new parks, movies. new movies, all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So thank you for sticking it out with us. And we hope that you enjoy it. Our first different video is going to be this weekend. So we're going to take you to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. So look forward to it.